Hello, everybody. My name is Mohammed Tamimi. Uh, I'm the director of the Language and Translation Center at Palestine Polytechnic University. This is part of the course English in Use offered at the university. And uh, understanding fragments is actually part of uh, the writing module related to writing paragraphs. And before this uh, lesson, we talked about how to write sentences and different kinds of sentences. And in writing sentences, people face uh, problems, two major problems. The first one is understanding fragments, and the second one is uh, understanding run-ons. In this presentation, I will talk about how to understand fragments and how to solve problems of fragments. So let's see. Uh, if you look at the word telephones, uh, it's just a word, it's not a sentence. It does not really uh, give you a full meaning. Uh, what about telephones? Okay, we're missing the predicate, we're missing the verb here. Uh, telephones ring, that gives you a better idea. So you understand that this is a full sentence and it tells us about the function that telephones uh, do or have in, as a capacity of, you know, uh, ringing. The, if you look at the word John, John is just a name, and when you say John likes apples, now we have a complete idea that John, you know, uh, as, a ver as a subject, likes as a verb and apples as an object. Uh, if you look at this one, it's a little bit different. Writing notes in class, uh, you can look at it in two different ways. The first one, looking at this as a, uh, as a subject, writing notes in class, what about it? Okay, and you're missing the verb. Or you can use it actually as a part of the verb. So look at that, this part. Ali was writing notes in class, and this is uh, was not writing is the you know the verb in this case, and it gives you a better idea. So uh, telephones, John writing notes in class are parts of sentences that are not complete. So what is a sentence? Uh, basically, a sentence. Uh, you know, a good sentence has a subject and a verb, and is express, uh, it, it expresses a complete thought. So you have, or sometimes instead of verb, we could say a predicate, if you wish. Uh, sentences uh, have different names, or a different name called independent clause, and another term for that, independent clause. An independent clause is actually a sentence, but it usually comes with another part, sometimes another independent sentence, or as we, as we saw in the compound sentences, or with a dependent uh, clause. In this case, it is a, a complex sentence. Do you know the difference between uh, those three things? So we have sentence, and a phrase, and a clause. Uh, a sentence, uh, we just talked about a sentence, so we know, like, if you look at this sentence, the book costs money. That's a complete sentence, so you have a good idea. It's a clear a subject and a predicate or a verb. If you look at phrase, phrase is usually a group of words that don't really have full meaning without the full sentence. So under the table is a prepositional phrase. And if you look at the word clause here, we have two kinds of clause, independent clause, and sometimes it's called the main clause, and it's a full sentence actually, and the dependent clause. And um, an independent clause would, uh, an, an example for that would be, my son loves math. In this case, it's a full sentence. And if you look, and, and, uh, but usually independent clauses come with something else. Uh, so if you look at the dependent clause here, because I like numbers. And because I like numbers is a dependent clause which means it cannot stand by itself. It cannot be a full sentence. It needs something else to support it. Uh, let's check your knowledge about this. Are these complete sentences? To remind people about their selfishness, writing the letter early in the morning, among them the driver and the teacher, after he left the house. Uh, take your time. Are these complete sentences? Of course they're not. They're, those are called fragments. They're fragments because they're missing something. So let's see what is a fragment. A fragment is a group of words that look like a sentence but is missing one of those things. It's either a subject or even more than one. A subject, a verb, or a complete thought. And therefore, 
it is an incomplete sentence. So if you have a sentence, you think it's a sentence, but it's missing some of one of these things, this is called a fragment. If you look at the word fragment, speaking of which, fragment means part. It means part of something. So fragmentation of your computer, you put it in parts. Fragment of a bullet is a small part of it, okay? So it's an incomplete sentence. Um, there are five types of fragments, and we'll look at them, and then we'll try to see how to solve the problems. So the first one would be a word that a word group uh, that starts with a preposition. And we saw some of them, okay? With all of my other work. Is that a sentence? No, it's a fragment. It's missing something. The second type is a word that a uh, group that starts with a dependent word, a uh, subordinating conjunction. Uh, because we left early is an example. Another type, a word group that starts with an ing verb form. Uh, for example, hoping to get there on time. Uh, so that's ing and it's a fragment. A word group that starts with to and a verb, such as to change the and the last part, the last kind of or type of uh, fragments is a word group that starts with an example or explanation of something mentioned in the previous sentence. So uh, a good example of this, when you say such as English, history, and math. Uh, so those are a group of words that try to explain things. So they are not really sentences. We have to pay attention to this. Uh, I think there is another example. For example, the Friday the 13th movie. The question is, what about it? So those are explanations uh, that are not really uh, uh, full sentences. Look at these uh, five types. I try to put them in sentences. It's hard to find time to study with all of my other work. So those are two sentences. It's uh, clear that the one that is underlined is a fragment. We got home early because we left early. I was running as fast as I could, hoping to get there on time. Uh, number four, Cherry got underneath the car to change the oil. I am taking several classes this semester, such as English, history, and math. So all of these are fragments, and they don't actually give a full meaning unless you do something about it. So basically, to solve this problem, there are two ways to create fragments. The first one is add what is missing. If a subject is missing, add it. If a verb is missing, add it. If a complete idea thought uh, you need to go ahead and add this uh, look at the examples uh, a fragment with all of my other work uh, correction I am busy with all of my other work uh, so you basically added the subject here you also added uh, the verb and then you have a complete sentence in this case another example fragment uh, hoping to get there on time Basically, I was hoping to get there or to get there on time. A third example to change the oil. Uh, it's a it's a fragment to solve the correct to correct it. She wanted to change the oil. If we move on to the second uh, way to solve the problem, is attach the fragment to the sentence before or after it. Examples: We got home early because we left early. That, we saw that sentence before, so how to solve this? Basically, we got home early because we left early, or you could switch them. Because we left early, we got home early. Uh, when you do that, pay attention to the punctuation. If the uh, co a subordinate conjunction comes in the middle, you don't need a comma. If it comes at the beginning, you probably need a comma out of, after the uh, dependent clause. Uh, another example, it's hard to find time to study with all of my other work. The correction, it's hard to find time to study with all of my uh, other work. More examples of, of that type. I was running as fast as I could, hoping to get there on time. Now, if you put them together, I was uh, running as fast as I could, hoping to get there on time. Uh, basically, you put them together and you get a good, complete, correct sentence. Another example, uh, Cherry got underneath the car to change the oil. Correction is Cherry got underneath the car to, underneath the car to change the oil. Um, practice, I want you to look at this. 
Uh, I have four sentences. I'm going to give you four minutes to look at the sentences and try to solve them. So please grab a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil, write the sentences, and then try to solve the fragment problem. Uh, the first one is a fragment. The second one is a fragment. The third one, we have two sentences, so one of them is a fragment. And the fourth one has four sentences, and probably two of them are fragments. So your job is uh, to pause the video for four minutes, write them down, correct them, and come back to me. Okay, uh, you're back by now, so let's look at the sentences after I get out of high school. This is one way to do it. After I get out of high school, I worked for one year at a cafe. The sandwich that I bought, what do you do with this? Uh, the sandwich that I bought was delicious. And maybe you want to compare your answers with what I have here. <coughs> when the waitress coughed in his food, another sentence, Ali lost his, up, his appetite. And the solution for this, or the correction, when the waitress coughed in his food, Ali lost his appetite. It's very simple. You basically connect it with it, and you connect it with, the, with a comma. Uh, the fourth one, uh, we have four sentences, a little bit complicated. Uh, there are uh, different ways to do it. One way, I can actually make it the whole four sentences as one sentence. In this kind of case, it could be a compound, complex, or even a complex. It depends. But an easier way to do it is basically to divide the two ideas in, or the four sentences into two ideas and therefore two sentences. This is what I did here. Uh, I run to our mailbox after the mail carrier comes. I love to get mail even if it's only junk mail. All right. Uh, now let's, let's see this. I have two sentences. I want you to check which one is the correct one. The grammar practices, uh, this grammar practice is useful, although sometimes I wish we did not have to do so much of it. This grammar practice is useful, although I sometimes wish we did not have so much, we did not have to do so much of it. Uh, which one do you think is the correct one? It's clear that this is the, the correct one because it, it's a dependent and independent, it's a complex sentence, and uh, you cannot from previous lessons you cannot put a semicolon to do to connect a, a sentence and a fragment those the first one you have to have two frag two complete sentences or two in, two independent clauses basically i guess that's it for for now uh, in general we talked about fragments we looked at the, the five ways of five types of fragments and we summarized two ways to solve or correct the fragments the first one is uh, to look uh, to f to add the missing part if it's subject or verb or object or whatever, and the second way is to connect the fragment with the previous or the uh, or uh, a, a sentence that comes before it or after it. Thank you. Have a great day.